Quizzes will be one of the most useful types of formative assessment that you can do in Moodle, and they're very accessible from mobile devices. Are you swamped with the amount of marking you're having to do? Set up self-marking formative assessment quizzes to aid your students and help them with strong, immediate feedback, and it'll help you with a lighter marking workload. Before we go about setting a quiz up, we need to keep in mind the optimization that we discussed in earlier videos. Let's have a look at a screenshot of a quiz question with the standard default theme applied. To improve its appearance, I've selected an option to remove the other blocks in the course. I've also chosen for only one question to appear per page. We can see that the text is still small and not the easiest to read. Now, this is a standard multiple choice question. And here we have a short answer question. This screenshot shows four questions per page without the full screen option applied. Now let's see the difference when we apply the My Mobile theme that we demonstrated in the first video in Chapter 1. We can see that the questions are much easier to read and presented in a nice clean layout. Now quizzes are one of the more complex tasks to set up in Moodle. And this is due to the wide variety of different things that quizzes can be configured to do, from short multiple choice questions to fully invigilated exams. Things to consider before setting up the quiz are the optimizations discussed in the first video in this chapter. And these include the type of feedback you're providing, the optimization of graphics, and the reduction of text heavy questions. We also need to think about things like how often students can take the quiz, how the marks are worked out if they're able to have more than one attempt and at what stage they can see the scores and correct answers. So let's add a quiz into our site. So with editing on, I go to add an activity or resource, and I choose quiz. Give the quiz a name, and you can add some text here as a form of introduction to the task ahead. I'm not going to go through every setting in setting up the quiz. You can find very detailed explanations of each quiz setting at moodle.org. We're going to look at the settings that are related to the performance of quizzes on mobile devices. Before we start, we want to make sure that all our settings are available, so we want to click on the Show Advanced button. So the first section I want to look at is the Layout section. In the Layout section, the options relate to how the students would work through the quiz and also how questions are displayed. Are the questions shuffled or are they in order? Should there be a new page every question, or do you want a few questions per page? For mobile devices, as seen in the earlier screenshots, one question per page is the preferred option. And can the students jump between sections and questions, or do they have to go through it in sequence? The next section to look at is the display section. This section is to do with what is displayed when setting the test. Do you want the user's image to be displayed when setting the test? And this could be useful to help check the identity of a student when sitting in vigilated exams, but is not suitable for tests on mobile phones. The next two are relating to the amount of decimal places shown in the grades. And this last option is whether you want to display the normal course blocks down the sides of the page when setting the quiz. It is recommended not to display them on a mobile. So we can see there's a lot to consider when setting up a quiz to run effectively on a mobile device. Consider all the optimization tips and use the My Mobile theme. There are several other settings within the quiz setup that help a quiz to be displayed well in a mobile device. There are a large amount of options when setting up a quiz. The amount of settings are because of the variety of different uses of a Moodle quiz. We need to consider our questions with regards to optimization for mobile devices by reducing the amount of text and the size of the images. In the next video, we will look at the various question types we can add to a course, and we will think about which of these will work best on mobile devices.